Yo, welcome to the wonderful world of Hunger Heath. I am not a factory trained chef. What I am is a self-taught home cook. I have studied under several television chefs. I have a PhD from YouTube University and a black belt in Google Food. I love to cook. The only thing I love more than cooking is my wife, the sensational Shelly Eats Steak. Together we host what we like to call the Friday Night Feast. And this happens every Friday night, 6.30 Central. We'll cook up an entree, maybe a couple of snacks, we'll show you all how we do it, and then we spend the rest of the evening just chewing the fat with all of our friends in the Hungry Horde. We'd love to have you over for dinner sometime. Today's video is something I've been dreaming up for a while now, y'all. Ever since we were gifted this dumpling maker, I had the idea to do this. Now, going way back when, <laughs> pre-keto, I used to love a frozen snack food. And it's very, very bad for you. <laughs> but I love those little pizza rolls. So what we're going to do is use the miniature dumpling maker from this and we're trying to recreate it. And what I did yesterday is I got some thick sliced pepperoni from the deli. We're going to slice, dice it up along with some jalapeno, some mushroom, stuff that all in together, and some uh, marinara. marinara and some uh, mozzarella. I'm waiting for my oven to finish telling me it's preheated for us. So that's the other thing too, you're going to preheat your oven to 425. Now this is very similar to the empanadas y'all saw us make a while back. And I have decided that instead of doing them in the air fryer, we're going to try it in the oven today. Let's see yeah. if it turns out a little better. The ones in the air fryer turned out really, really good, but there is a little slight problem with them sticking to the little grate. Yeah. And I don't like fighting with it in kind of destroying the look and feel of them. So we're gonna see if it works a little better in the oven. Well, and I feel like the beef wellington, y'all go watch that, turned out just so perfect yes. in the oven. And original pizza rolls, we always baked in the oven. Yeah. You probably air fry them nowadays. Yeah. But I was like, well, let's try it in the oven. Plus I'm hoping we're gonna get a lot out of the dough. So we're gonna use our uh, traditional fat head dough use a coconut flour not with almonds mm -hmm. and we're gonna make that up y'all have seen us do it a few times now so i'm gonna make that up and then we'll show you making the little tiny dumplings and putting all the filling in here so i'm i'm starving y'all let's get good cooking yes chef <laughs> okay we diced up a couple of these pepperoni blocks and here's what we're going for so you see like here's my thumb Nice diced piece because, remember, these are small, so you just want little chunks. And I remember Tostino's that they had, like, little chunks of pepperoni, not slices. But that's what you're going for. Teeny tiny. So what I got here is a little mixture. We have this deli pepperoni, and I sliced it all up, make it really uh, diced. diced. It's really very small dice. And then we got... Some diced up jalapeno and some mushroom stems. Diced. Diced up. Everything's about the same size, as close as I can get it. And then we got the same marinara sauce. And then we did, what'd you say, two tablespoons of the... Two teaspoons. Teaspoons of the pepperoni to one of everything else. And, and then two of the uh, mozzarella cheese. Now this does say Daisy Sour Cream. I just recycled these. It's free Tupperware. That's true. Hey, and now I have a whole collection. We're gonna go slice these through, and just gonna stir it up a little bit more, and put these on here. And this is the small, so I'm gonna do one teaspoon. I think that's perfect. Well, let's see what happens when. Because I remember back in the day that they were uh, bite sized Yeah. For me, anyways. Mm -hmm. So I figure this is gonna be the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna. Fold this over and crimp it. And I got a little that fell out. Mm -hmm. So I'll pick out the meat mm -hmm. and the cheese and add it back in here and then give this back to her on the side here and we'll mix all that up. Yeah. Oh, and this will come up the oh. same way. Yeah. But see, it comes out perfect. I love this little tool. And then we're going to start these, just stacking them up. Actually, do you mind handing me the rolling pin? I want this just a little thinner. bit thinner. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna keep stuffing these and we'll be right back. And through the magic of television, we've got 17 
little pizza rolls. Now, you notice this one doesn't match. I didn't have enough to make the full round circle, so we just kind of filled it with some remnants there. And I've got my oven already preheated. Y'all heard 325. But I'm going to do a simple egg wash. I mean 425. <laughs> I'm just going to do a simple egg wash here. Give it that nice golden color on top. And we're going to bake these in the oven at uh, 425. We're going to check them at 10 minutes. And probably have to flip them. But I'll put it in the comments We'll have the recipe, and I'll put the final stuff in the recipe. So definitely look at that, y'all. And ooh, look at those! I think they're gonna be so pretty. All right, let's get it in the oven. This is ten minutes in, and we're flipping them just to make sure we get an even cook on both sides. But look on the other side, y'all. Such a nice toastiness, right? Yeah, I'm liking and, this a lot better than the air fryer. Yeah, because they're on the parchment paper. They're flipping. Like, they're not sticking to anything. And they're flipping very easily. Y'all, I'm so happy that was turned out. I don't know if you can actually tell right uh, close enough. But uh, we had a little bit left over of the uh, filling. So we filled some jalapenos and some mushrooms to go with it well we added goat cheese yes. to the mixture and then filled that in there and we had a couple of pieces of bacon left over so we wrapped the two of the uh, jalapenos but look at these y'all i think i remember pizza rolls i think they were a little bit smaller yes, right? they, were, they were square <laughs> yeah but i think these are awesome especially like on game day yeah. of course i know that's in the past now but no, I, they're still basketball, and after, baseball. Oh yeah, well, whatever. We're not sports there. people. <laughs> but I think these are great, like hors d'oeuvres, or like, can you imagine if you if you have children who are like, oh, I don't want to do keto, show them this, and I bet they're gonna love it. And the filling looks perfect. What I want to do first, though, I want to try it without the sauce. Okay. You get a true taste. Dink. I'm really impressed so far. You know where we messed up? Mm -mm. We didn't sprinkle the five spice on it. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Like, the crust, it tastes like a regular crust to me. Mm -hmm. It kind of is crunchy on the outside. The filling is good. It definitely comes across as cheesy, right? right. Very cheesy. How many did we make? 17 in all. It better be cheesy. The crust is cheese. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is amazing, though. I'm glad we did this. But you get that little bite of the pepperoni because mm -hmm. it's little squares. And that comes through. I don't really taste like the mushrooms or... Mm, not at all. But, eh. Mm. But that's perfect. And honestly, I was kind of worried about it when we are planning it out while uh -huh. putting the sauce on the inside. But it, the way the ratio we did... Was perfect. Mm -hmm. It kept everything moist on the inside, mm -hmm. but without making it messy. Right, right. And I only had, I think, one that kind of had a little bust in it, but nothing, nothing major. And so I've also decided we're not frying these anymore. We're only <laughs> going to bake them. It works so much better, so much easier. Mm -hmm. I like the way they turned out. Mm -hmm. I'm have mm. all these mushrooms. Oh yeah, like these it. are really good, y'all. I don't know why I have a knife and fork. This is all finger food. I did try to tell him. I'm so refined. Yeah, I like it. So does it remind you, though, because you loved the pizza rolls. Mm -hmm. It really does. Mm. They were square and a little smaller, but this is still pretty much bite size. Mm-hmm. And then for this sauce, we just did the just plain marinara, and we put mm -hmm. a little bit of the sofrito in it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. Well, I hope you all try these um, pizza rolls and let us know what you think. And share your photos in our Facebook group, which is Hungry Horde Headquarters. I love, love, love seeing everybody sharing, not just our recipes. I mean, that makes me extra happy. Right. But I love seeing everybody's meals in there. 
And we I got ideas from y'all too. Yeah, we sure do. And um, and then we uh, every week before our live, I make a trailer of everybody's food that you share. Now, if you're not on Facebook, you can always email us. Our email is below. I'd love to see your food and share that too. So if you want us to share it on the trailer, just send us an email if you're not in the Facebook group. But otherwise, I I love this. Yes, this, this is, is great. great. I'm glad we finally did this. We've been talking about it long enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, thank you all for watching. But make sure you always make sure you click that the thumbs up button. Click the subscribe button. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, every Friday night, 630 Central, we go live for the Friday night feast. We cook up an entree, make up a little snacks. Show you all how we do it. And we spend the rest of the day just chewing the fat with all our friends in the hungry board. Yeah. Hope you can tune in sometime. We'd love to have you over for dinner. Thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all on the next one. I gotta eat my pizza rolls. And stay tuned to see all of our wonderful channel members. Thank y'all again for all of your support. We really appreciate it. Bye.